Well, the thing that inspired me was that I drew from an early age. I was the guy in the back of your high school class during physics drawing pictures of women, army tanks, airplanes, and speedboats. I was always inspired by the great artists of the golden era of illustration who seemed to be encapsulated in a way of life and a way of looking at things that was different than fine arts. And as I got older, I found myself enjoying the process and enjoying getting better and better at it. And at some stage, I made a commitment to go in the direction that my heart led me. I have a profound amount of respect and friendship for the people I know in the military. Because of my relationship with people in the service that has grown over the last 20 years, I feel the kind of skill I have in depicting their history is well used. And someday those paintings will go in probably the Army Museum, the Army Infantry Museum, and a hundred years from now, People will go through, and long after I'm gone, and long after you're gone, they will have a handle on some part of the reality of the wars that we've been involved in. And if the narrative works correctly, it'll always say, James Deeds did this painting with a technical assistant of many, many serving members of the armed forces, and to them it's dedicated. So I get to write along on the coattails of history. The reason we remember Memorial Day and other events in history is so that we are aware that people actually had to go and do these things, and we hope that their efforts and their time wasn't wasted. That in some way, shape, or form, we say a genuine thank you, because nobody except the people who have done that can fully appreciate the sacrifice of that time and that duty to their family, to their friends who saw them go away. And if we can genuinely appreciate that service, well then Memorial Day is a day to remember.